What's up guys? It's a launch day. About to start pressing. Should go really fast. Hopefully. How many? I'm thinking 50 singles. Do we want growlers? People expect growlers. Do you think you're going to be busy tomorrow? I have no idea. But I'm planning for my normal Saturday crew. Which is a lot. <laughs> I'm thinking farmer's market, I will sell 15 ciders. Yeah, the country crew is probably not that big on cider because they can I get the. Yeah. Okay. And it's locked in. They love cigars. Cigars will probably be good. They can sell cider. Yeah, I'm thinking. There's already a cider hold in the Bluffton community. <laughs> And I get it, like, if that's what you grew up drinking, I would It's a tradition, it. yeah. And it's way more affordable. <laughs> that's true. It's just like... But how many, but spice ciders I might sell a lot of those, that's a little bit more unique. Okay. Maybe 10 regular ciders and 10 spice ciders. And my, I'll probably be able to sell that. 20? What do I do? We'll probably sell a lot of it this afternoon. Count on me ten ish of each at for the market. And we'll probably sell a lot today, start right? Making a lot. Let's just go for it. That's a good thing about apple ciders, you oh. just it's just apples. And let we mark the ciders with a different date, don't we? I was gonna ask if it's yeah. a week or two weeks. Let's mark them with let's mark them with seven like seven days. Like after this, yeah, let's mark them with farm the seven days. So exactly what we do. Oh, yeah, this is a big deal. Really when did we launch this last year? People literally came running in the door. Where did we land with growlers? Oh, yeah. I probably won't sell any growlers up the market again. It's just so expensive. Maybe two. Oh, maybe two. Two for the shop. That'll we'll be sell good. Break. If you guys have watched my Juicing 101 video, you know that I'm about to weigh out however many pounds of produce will yield um, per pound about 10 ounces of juice. So we'll start with a batch of 25, so I'll weigh out 25, 30, I'll weigh out 30 pounds of produce. We do a mixture of three apples, really sweet, just based gala apple, and then we do a tart uh, something like a Granny Smith or like a pink Lady Crisp um, and then a nice like bitter apple and that gives you a really good like sweet yummy delicious cider unfortunately it is going to be like 80 something degrees today so it's going to be a hot one not really cider weather yet the moment we've all been waiting for First apple cider pressing with Judy. This should go really fast, should be super easy. labels this year we went with just a really classic black and white label if you watched last year there's an apple cider playlist you can go check it out um, we went with something more a little geometric a little more color I'll show it to you It needs more. Mm. 
It needs more sour, yeah. But it's good. Do you want to press more sour? I mean, I'm going to make another batch. But I'm going to bottle this. Yeah, I need to, like, after. Or you can make that one spicy. So what are we doing? Spice it or? Yeah, I would either spice it or just add more sour, whichever one's easier. Let's spice it. Spice it. Also new this year, we are doing a spice cider. Jordan really wanted this. Have you had this before? I have not. I have not either. But we are going to add ginger to just our normal cider recipe. Our supplier didn't have a pink Lady Crisp. or I don't know if they have it or they didn't get back to us. But that's why we're like, it needs a little more. How much ginger is the question? 30 pounds of apples, a good heat level for ginger is normally six ounces per six pounds. 30 divided by six is five. Six, I need 30 ounces of ginger. I labeled the first batch was gonna just be plain cider, so all my dish racks are full. So I labeled a bunch of just regular cider. But now we wanna do the ginger thing. So I need to empty a dish rack, sanitize those, label those. It's going to take a while for the bottles to dry and then <laughs> to be labeled. And just press a like, oh I have an idea. Just pour out half of this into a, this and you know add half of it there, half of it there. If we were following, following last year's, we need 20 pounds of sour to our 20 pounds of sweet. Oh, it's half these. Well, it was 20, 10, 10, but our two 10s were both sours. Okay. So technically, we're so at do I need? 12, we would need 8 more pounds. Yeah. This will be like a bright green color. I don't know why, but uh, Granny Smith apples don't oxidize as fast as like a Gala apple or a Fiji apple. They're more tart, so it's probably more acidic. We're gonna do both of these, just regular cider. We're gonna get more bottles sanitized. We're gonna get those labeled with the spice cider. Drama, the drama today is real. It gets so much better after even like an hour. It makes a big difference. Oh, ow! Uh, I wish it wasn't 90 degrees outside. Oh my gosh, wait, don't you see it with the label? We got new. Reminds me of Apple. Really good. It tastes like a like a ginger candy. It tastes like our snap, but without the lemon. So really good, sweet, spicy. This would be really good on a cold day. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. I'll go show you the fridge. Jordan has it priced out at did you say 16% profit margin? The growler is a 10% discount. Wow, that's a lot of shoes. There will be plenty of cider videos to come. We will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!